a lot of us are staying home, but want to still enjoy putting your makeup on occasionally, right? So if you feel the same, Missy from Rebel Beauty is sharing her spring eye makeup secrets. Take a look. Yes, hi guys. I am here today to show you some beautiful spring makeup looks that you can try from home. So before we start applying any eyeshadow, you're going to want to put a primer on. Now eyeshadow primers are there to not only make your eyeshadow stay longer and not crease, but they can actually give your color a little bit more pop. So this one I'm using is from Urban Decay. It is their eyeshadow primer potion. And this is a great one that's just going to neutralize the color on my lids as well as creating a nice soft canvas that's going to adhere the eyeshadow a little bit better and let it stay on longer and crease free. Okay, so once I've got my primer on like that, we can step into pastel colored eyeshadows. Now today's eyeshadow that I'm using is from a company called Nomad. We're gonna be using the Malibu palette today, but I'm gonna show you how you can actually pull off a spring pastel like this mint color here, which will look great on all skin tones and skin types as well. So jumping right in, you're gonna take a crease brush and you're gonna jump into that middle brown color that you see here and it is called Hideout. Now this Hideout color we're gonna be using a, as what I call a transition color and you're just gonna start from the outer corner and just run this into your crease. So keep these little circular motions going. That's gonna help control the amount of product that you're applying in one spot so we're really blending it and getting a nice diffused transition color here. You can also take this color and even on the same brush, you're just going to run it under the eye. So we're just fluffing it up underneath the lash line, underneath the eye, just giving it a little bit more of a defined look by spreading that under there, just like that. And once you have your transition color on like that, we're going to switch brushes out to a more finer tipped brush. So I have a little bit more control of where I'm placing the darker color. So we're jumping in and using the Shack color now in my palette, which is a dark brown. And we're gonna come back in from the outer corner and pull it into the crease again. But this time we're not diffusing it as much and going in circular motions all over. We're really trying to just uh, give a little bit more definition to my crease line. Also bringing that color into the outer third of your bottom lash line as well. So it gives a nice finished look when you apply this darker brown. So now our eyes are defined. You really could top your mobile eyelid with any color at this point, but because it's springtime and I really wanna show you these lovely pastel colors, I am going to be doing the mint color, which is called Bungalow. And so if you've never done like a pastel or a lighter color, this is the spot where you're gonna do it is on the mobile lid after you've done a little bit of a transition brown as well as a crease brown. So now we're ready to apply this mint color. We're just gonna be patting it in. So I'm not fluffing it out like this, you guys. I'm gonna be patting it onto the lid so that I'm able to control where this product is going and not flipping it all over the place. And it also allows for a little bit more of a prominent color. It's giving that more vibrancy by patting it into the eyelid on top of that primer that was there. So just like that, you're able to use that mint color, something you maybe you would have never used before, but it just is a fun, bright pastel color for spring. I absolutely love this. And to finish the eye, the last color that's in this eyeshadow quad palette is their Cabana, which is a vanilla shimmer. And this vanilla shimmer, I like to put right here on the tear ducts of my eye, an inner corner. It's gonna give more of a brightened effect, make me look a little bit more awake right we could all use that and then also you're going to take a tiny bit of that and if you want you can rub it right underneath the brow and it will give a little bit more of a lift to your brow make it look a little bit more finished so it just catches the light and gives that really nice polished finished look um, so now to finish my eye look here we've got those four colors on the eye i think it looks fantastic but i'm going to top it off with some eyeliner mascara and lashes and as always, you can find more tips, tutorials, and product reviews on my website at rebelbeauty.com. Wow. Missy. And what a great time to be practicing, right? So if you mess up, you're just at home. Yes, and I like it. you can mix it up a little bit because I get stuck in the rut of just doing like the brown eyeshadow. So, Missy, thank you so much. That was so, so great. Yay. We'll be right back.